And now here we're joined by uh, Coach Q, 55-52, winners on the road here today. And uh, Q, I think we're all a little bit emotionally drained after that one. That was a, a grinder. What can you say about uh, your team, which had trailed up until late in the third quarter, being able to pull this one out? Tough team, man. Just just really tough kids. They 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 came out second half and just competed like crazy. Um, I can't make it seem like I did something so special. Um, our kids did something special today, and I got to give them all the credit. Let's sort of take this in order. It was a struggle of the first half. Brianna Day really got it going in uh, the third quarter. She had eight points in the third quarter, and it sort of looked like uh, her action really got you guys back in the game at that point. It did. You know, she came back in the game and, and did a good job of defensively. She really anchored, anchored the paint, and, and late in the game and late down the stretch, she altered so many shots. And they just wasn't getting, getting clean, clean looks at the rim, and she deserves a lot of credit for just taking care of us in the, in the paint. Uh, officially only two blocks today, but <laughs> altered uh, countless yeah. uh, others that maybe didn't quite get a hand on, but certainly, like yeah, <laughs> certainly forced them in the wrong direction for the yeah. Wolfpack. All right, so you get the lead. It's, a, it's back and forth there in the third. Then the fourth quarter comes. You find yourself down four, and Alexis Peterson scores eight straight by herself to give you the lead back. It's amazing. She's an amazing scorer, and, and, and we just started running high ball screens, let her make some decisions, keep the ball in her hands, and I thought that it was a really gutsy, gutsy game by our kids. You know, to have Brianna Butler have 10 rebounds today, yep. that was that was huge. You know, that's, 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 a, that, that's a player who's not scoring, who's saying, I'm going to do something else. And she did something else. I mean, she she, she was tremendous. I was just so, so, so happy for that kid. Yeah, and then on top of that, hit a big three late in the game, as did uh, Maggie Morrison late in the game after she started uh, that uh, transition possession with a steal. And then we get to the final minute of the game where it is still a one-possession game. And Cornelia Fontra in the final minute both intercepts an inbounds pass and then gets your final defensive rebound of the game to really uh, stop NC State from scoring twice. That was it, man. We, we, we just made, made, made plays down the stretch. I thought our kids were really tough, and they just got after it. They, they just really competed like crazy. I, 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 I know I'm not giving you guys a lot of uh, strategy here, but <laughs> it was no strategy. That was just a gutsy game. We got some stops, got some rebounds, and we just – did the, did the right things down the stretch. What's amazing, Q, in all of your big wins this year, one of the first columns we can look to is turnovers and points off turnovers. NC State only turned it over 12 times. That is seven fewer than you forced anybody else into all season, and somehow you're still able to do something different here and win the game here today. Yeah, it, was a, it was an amazing job by them to really handle, ha, handle the ball. And it's, and it's tough, you know, when you're, when, you're, when, you're, when you're not making shots, it's hard to get into your to your pressure, and we didn't want to get scrambled on the back end of our press because we didn't want to give them easy, easy threes out in transition. So we just got man to man full court, and just guarded their point guard, tough up the floor. We just really just wore her down, and she's and late in the game she didn't have the ball in her hands every time. And I think that benefited us because, because they didn't really get into their offense. All right, Q. Uh, before I let you go, I'll tell you two numbers, which I'm sure you'll like to hear. Seventh straight year now with 20 wins, and your fourth straight year with a uh, 10 league wins as you hit those two benchmarks you talk about uh, before the year every year. <laughs> Seven years of great players, man. It's, it's, it's about players and about players willing to be coached and, and, and to be pushed. And I push them every day and just got to give them, give every player in the Plaintiff's program a lot of credit for everything that we've done up until this point. All right, Q, all alone in fourth place in the ACC right now is a pretty good place to be. And uh, talk about some of those great players on Thursday because Senior Nate's coming back, uh, coming up next. And we'll talk about Florida State then. But uh, congratulations on a, a road sweep here in the last couple days on the road. Thank you. That's Syracuse head coach uh, Quentin Hillsman. Again, the final score tonight on the road in Raleigh. Syracuse 55 at NC State 52.